but, well, in a rare show of uh, bipartisanship, uh, leadership of both uh, the majority and minority sides have lashed out at uh, ministers of state to refuse to appear before MPs to answer questions. Now, this morning, the Transports Minister, Kukuo Furia Soma, was expected to answer nine questions but failed to show up. Last week, it was the Finance Minister, Ken Furiata, who failed to appear before the House. According to the Minority Chief Whip, Muntaka Mubarak, some ministers are taking Parliament for a joke and the House must act decisively against such ministers. Ministers are gradually turning this house, the speaker, for lack of better word, like a joke. Because the speaker, they wait until the morning of asking the questions. Then now they run to you that I cannot come because there's one hidden thing or the other. No, Mr. Speaker, as you are very much aware, these questions are transmitted to the ministries long before even the business meeting happens on, on, on Thursday. And immediately after the business statement, it is written to them to remind them that so-so and so did they are to appear. The speaker, if they wait until the day of the questions, then they do this. The speaker, as you rightly know, the number of questions that we have are standing are gradually getting out of hand. And so now for the Minister for Transport in particular, yes, he used to be one of those who happily come to the house and answer questions. But Mr. Speaker, of late, time and time again, Mr. Speaker, I can recollect that this will be about the third time I alone is raising concern about his inability to appear before the house. Mr. Speaker, we will be grateful that you help this house hold these ministers accountable. Because this is one of the two that is used in holding them accountable. So for the ministers to be picking and choosing when they want to come, Speaker, I believe as a house, we need to resolve. Because unless the person is sick, you have deputy ministers, you don't even have the courtesy of sending even a deputy minister. But just right to say that you are not available. Mr. Speaker, I don't think that is tenable. If we continue to allow that to stand, I'm sorry, Mr. Speaker, this house will continue to be weak and weak. Mr. Speaker, so I will be grateful that you give some strong wording to the minister and get the minister to appear before the house soonest. Well, minority, uh, majority chief whip Frank Anor Dompre supported the submission of his minority colleague and called uh, for the naming and shaming of such ministers. We are ministers who, uh, who have been doing their work diligently and they take this as serious. I don't want to mention any names. Any time a number of them are unable to attend upon the house, they've given notice ahead of time. And for me, that is the trust of your, your worry. The notice should come ahead of time. We understand that your man is a human institution, your money. But you cannot bring the, your, your correspondence or excuse duty on the same day that you're supposed to appear before this house. That is totally unacceptable. And it's something we shouldn't romance at all. And probably this will be the last. We will not entertain this kind of attitude and bring in the notice at the very day you're supposed to take your question. That will not be accepted. And I'm not too happy about it. So I'm in total agreement with the worries we express, uh, especially relative to the transport minister. And like you really said, he's one of the ministers who have been very diligent. But these days, uh, his attitude leaves a lot to be desired. So, uh, Speaker, I'm only going to plead that we will try and reprogram him for him to appear.